Hey everyone, welcome back. First, let me apologize for no video up this past Saturday. Uh, good, good, good day. I was cooking uh, for the whole family, all my kids, my grandkid, and my kids and significant others were all here. So busy, busy house. I had a lot of fun doing that. But this video contains uh, what I did last week and then finishing up this week. Like I said, this is the final video for the Rebel 125th scale Ford FD100 Foos edition. Uh, a lot of fun, a lot of things I learned. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. Uh, it was really fun. It was a nice, uh, like I said, palate cleanser to get my mind refreshed and ready to go back to the other projects that I need to get finished up on. But uh, yeah, lots of fun, lots of fun. Like I said, this uh, also in the video, first time I ever did uh, the, the spark plug wiring on a vehicle and I really like doing it and I'm going to keep practicing and get, hopefully get better with it. So, yay. Um, so if you are new to my channel, please click on the subscribe button. You click on that little bell, you'll know every time I upload. And to all my subscribers, again, you're going to hear it every week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It really means a lot to me and I really appreciate it. Um, but if you are new to the channel, or if you've been with the channel for a while, but you're going back through some of my older videos, um, and if I'm doing something that needs a little bit more explaining or why I came up with the way I did it or that, please, um, you can either drop it in the comment section or you can email me at bucktimore at gmail.com. And that also goes, if you guys are, you know, you're, you're having frustrations, I'm just not wanting to work with a kid of yours, please just email me. Um, and I really, you know, I really like doing that for people. So also, you can put in the comments, hey Buck, nice job, but seriously man, Okay, it works. It's, it's your kid. It works. And then, seriously, Buck, why? Put that in the comment section, and I will answer. I usually answer within 12 to 24 hours. So with that, let's get to the final building of the uh, Ford. Good afternoon, everyone, and getting to working on finishing the uh, Ford. And I went ahead and I masked off, and I just hand brushed. Um, I didn't want to have to. I, I seal coated it, but I didn't want to do all that masking just to do three or four seconds spray so once it is dry then I'll go down and I'll really softly sand it down but I thought I'd let you see and then so yay that's there and then also the same on the the top um, just mask it off and hand brushed it but now comes the fun this is after I let it sit and my purple power for Pretty much all day and night. Um, I picked, I grabbed it uh, out this morning and I washed it and then I got it reprimed. I just got to sand it and then get going on the paint. But I wanted to share that with you. And after it had taken everything off, I went ahead and sanded it before I added another coat of primer. So that's where I'm at right now, guys, is I'm going to get this sanded down and ready to go for paint, um, get the pre-shading done, and then hopefully get this guy covered in some nice blue, lovely metallic paint before the end of the day. I, my goal is to have this all the way done this week. Uh, I'm not going to say which day because I might get it done sooner and I'll, I'll upload the video sooner. But that's where I'm at right now. So I'm going to get back at it, guys. Let me get this sanded down and then get some things moved and uh, get back to it. So I will return. Okay, well, um, everything's drying, so I thought I would show you another technique that I use um, a lot of, and I do it a lot of times, especially with primers now and all that, I start getting into it. What I'm gonna do is called wet sanding. Even before I put any of the base coat or any pre-shading, I'm gonna wet sand the primer and everything down, get it all nice and smooth. I'm using 3000 grit sandpaper. I have water and I have a piece cut and basically all I do is I just start getting water on and take your sandpaper and just lightly go and just get that start to sand down. And you can hear it, you can actually even feel it when you're sanding. Um, and then every few times I'll just come and just start taking and wiping it off, wipe all that off and then I'll go back and fill. So um, I've already kind of done this side and I want you to hear this. So this is sanded. That's not sanded. Okay, I'm going to do the same amount. 
so you can hear that little bit of difference. So that's where I'm at, and uh, I'll come back to you guys when I'm, I'm finished and uh, let you hear what it sounds like. So I will return. Well, good morning, and um, thought I was going to get finished up today. Still might be a chance, but I wanted to share this with you. Um, so I, I repainted the cab and everything, and then I went and started hand painting in the chrome, and I was like, okay, you know, I can go back and touch it up and do all that. Well, in my, my hurry while trying to paint, I kept, I didn't realize that my fingers, you know, as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this again with the, um, the Ar Arctic Blue. I'm going to mask this off because this is from, you know, finishing the kit. I'm going to get this painted again and then um, get started working on the trim because I have got the bottom of the truck ready to go. Got the, you know, that in. I mean, I got to do a little bit of touch up there, but that's okay. But yeah, and I was hoping, you know, do my last touch ups today, but uh, no. Um, well, I am going to do my last touch-up, so we'll see how far I can get. But, uh, but yeah, very, 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 very close. And I was trying to hand paint that, and I messed up. So, uh, so I'm going to get this redone, paint it over again with the Arctic Blue, get it sealed, and then come in and start doing what I need to do. So, first thing I do is get this painted again. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that done, guys. And when I come back. Should be getting finished up on masking. I'm, I'm going to mask around the trim this time. Um, I was trying to be nice and just try to get it hand painted in and then I can go back later and touch up. But as you can tell, the hand brushing, especially on the bigger points, didn't work as well as I wanted it to. So did okay here because I can touch up certain things here. But um, no, I need to go ahead and, and I did, I did, clear coat it before I even did anything and I was trying and just so as you can see um, they just didn't want it just not coming down so what I'm going to do now is like I said I'm gonna I'm gonna paint it again and keep going so I will see you guys here in a little bit let me get some more paint down so I know I post my videos usually on Saturday, but you had a big kind of family gathering. Um, but what I did get to be able to do before um, I started cooking for everybody is I repainted the cab. And then today I went and masked off and I repainted the chrome and added in the front end assembly. But I repainted the chrome and same with this guy. And then I did the same also on the bed. I wanted to get that fixed. So now I am just going to wait for this to get dry so I can give it a good, so I can give it a clear coat. And then all that's really left to do is put in the glass and put on these guys and then actually get it to sit onto the truck body. And yeah, uh, but I want to make sure I get the paint protected really good, but uh, getting very close. So hopefully um, the next time uh, you guys see it, I'll be finishing putting it together I'm not gonna take that from you guys and then uh, get that video up but not I'm real close guys I am very very close the reason I like I said I didn't get finished Saturday besides I was um, doing family meal um, because I you, you saw the video I made terrible hand brushing so all right guys well I'm gonna let this get dry and uh, I'll see you soon good morning and getting back to work and getting working on finishing up so I'm gonna do touch-up painting um, and as you can see, I need to just do a little bit of touch-ups here. And so, yay. So getting onto that, I wanted to share this with you. Um, this is the front light assembly. And all I did right here to get that, that nice orange is I used my Tamiya X26 clear orange. And I brushed it on and I let it dry. And then I did another couple, you know, let it dry then did another coat and let it dry so now this last coat is drying over here um and right now yeah that's where i'm at i want to make sure i get the touch-ups done because i want to get this sealed and that way i can get the glass and get the body on get the cab on sorry out of camera get the cab on and pretty much almost be done i mean i just got to do the touch-ups do that last seal and then yay so 
All right, guys. Well, that's what I'm going to work on right now. And uh, when we come back, I should be able to start putting things together again. So I'll see you soon. Well, good morning. And this should be the final bit of video in the last day for the Ford. Um, I'm going to put, put the uh, back window in now. I've gone ahead and I just brush painted the visors. And once that's dry, I'll put that other windshield in. Um, what I'm doing is I'm using uh, this Tester's uh, Clear Part Cement or Window Maker. I, I really love getting Micro Crystal Clear, but I need to get some more. Um, so just do it this way for right now. So what I've done is I've already fit it into place. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just try to keep it on camera for you guys. I'm just going to go along the bottom of it and um, on the top if I can get it there and what this is going to help me do is one it's going to help get the keep it in there and clear two I just want to make sure everything is where it needs to be I'll you know sometimes I'll put that in there and now I'm just going to let that get set and dried up and I gotta move a little bit more of the glue there we go and I'm going to let that get now done and set up. And then once it's all set, I'll clean the window too. I also went ahead and got the headlights in for the front end, which I can, I'll probably just go ahead and get that one put on. Because that's what it's going to look like. And then the bumper, once everything else is done, I can go ahead and put these guys in. Um, so... Another thing, the reason I use a clear cement is I don't, when you use CA or, um, you know, um, to me as extra thin, whatever glue, on clear pieces, sometimes, I found it out when I was working, when I built planes and do canopies, um, I use the clear cement because it needs to be, it'll dry clear one, but when you use like CA or another one, and it's even like this it can cloud the uh, the clear part up it can cloud it up so I just now I just only I always use clear cement when I'm either putting canopy um, headlights you know all the things that need to stay unfogged so that's where it's at right now so I'm gonna go ahead and that's drying and I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff on and hopefully here real soon we'll get the truck put together get all the parts together so when that's ready, I will definitely be turning the camera back on. So now we just got to wait for glue to start drying. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, getting ever closer. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to go ahead and clean the, the, the plexiglass before I put the body on. And basically what I'm using, you can pick it up anywhere. I'm using the Novus Plastic Clean and Shine. I, I bought the whole kit because... Um, it helps me if I scratch any of the clear styrene, it'll help me get it back. So, and I will share that one day with you. So basically all I did, all I'm doing, is I take a clean Q-tip. I've already washed down on it. And I just want to make sure. I put a little bit in there, and then I just want to make sure. I'm just going easy. Just trying to make sure I get all that stuff out. And... Just go here and then I'll look on the outside and if I need to, I'll come in here and do the same thing. Now the reason I'm using Q-tips and not a plastic or a paper towel or any of that is sometimes that will also scratch and I don't want it to do that. So um, it will scratch up the, the, the clear styrene. So. Let's go ahead and get working on the back one here. And take my Q-tip. Same thing, just get it cleaned. Turn around, look, look from the other side. And do the same thing. And there we go. So that's looking really pretty. Um, also, if you want, I use it sometimes just to uh, get a little bit of shine back on. I'll just take a little bit and 
just wipe it down. Now this is where I can um, use a paper towel, but you want to be gentle. And I don't want to wipe too hard. I just want to, just like that, just polishing it up. Look at that right there. Wow, that's pretty. And then I'll do the same thing again up here. Now, you're wondering why I don't just spray it, and you know I can. Um, but somehow doing this helps me feel like it's, I'm getting it a little bit better, because as you can see, then again, I just take this and just kind of wipe it down like that. And look at that, nice, shiny, and lovely. And maybe, let's see, let me try. Try to get that up. Oh, dang it. That's what I thought I was going to do. No worries. I just have to put the uh, rear view mirror back up here in a second. But, you know, I just want to make sure I get in here and get it all wiped down. Good. Do the same thing there. So, uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just doing some finishing up polishing work. Polishing work. And then it comes the fun part of ending this build, which is putting the cab onto the body of the truck. So let me get this, this cleaned up a little bit and I'll come back on this time. All right, that time. So I'm not gonna do any glue just yet. I'm not gonna put any glue down because when you put this on, uh, it can be a little bit stiff. So I wanna make sure that I can get out where it needs to be. And then I'll glue it. Just kind of like so. Okay, there we go. Then, as you can see, yeah, got to take a little bit of love just to get you going down in there. As you can see, that's why I didn't want to put any glue on just yet. Because I want to make sure that I get this all the way where it needs to be. Like so. There we go. Maybe. And it's a little tougher right now because I do have the uh, plexiglass in, so it's going to be a little bit stiffer. And again, that's why I did not want to put any glue down just yet. I want to make sure that I can, uh, one, I can clean it up because it's going to squish out. And two, that I make sure it's where I want it to be. Not you. So that's all I'm doing right now is I'm just adding because this is where it will meet is right here on that little edge oh, so much sorry nope not that little edge I got to put a little bit more so that's why I clean it up so I can do this and what I'm going to do is put it right here and the same thing with the on the other side just right here just right here just put a little bit in there then that way I can come back and now I am just going to hold it down until it's secure. Yay! So, and then all I got left to do is put the bumper and the hood on. Yay! But now it's getting secure and what I'm going, what I can do is I got some good clamps here. I want to keep it pressured down. Oh. There we go. And same with this side. Pick you up. Drop everything else. And do the same thing. Or try to anyway. So just going to put the clamp there. Make sure I bring this one to make sure it's tight. Darn it. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Oh, the fun, right, guys? Okay, there we go. Just let it sit like that for a bit and then after that is all it is is putting the bumper and the hood on and this kit is ready to go 
So yay! Gonna let that sit for just a second, for a minute anyway. Get some things cleaned up here and I'll come back when it's time to put the hood and the bumper on and do the final reveal. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right guys, well here it is. I got a few little touch-ups to do, but for the most part, the kit is finished. This is again the Rebel 125th scale Ford FD100 Foose Edition. Um, really liked how it came out. And the touch-ups I got to do is just a little bit more on the painting. Then I've got to redo the hood just a bit, but I wanted to show you guys that. And like I said, this is the first time I have ever attempted to do the spark plug wiring. So I had a lot of fun with that. And then the inside, let's turn this around so you can actually see. And then the back. Here. So yay, a lot of fun. Let's get the hood back on. Maybe, there we go. Get this turned back around. There we go. So yeah, a lot of fun. So, um, I am going to be starting something here in the next day or so, so there will be another video coming up, I promise you that. Um, but, uh, yeah, a lot of fun. So, uh, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll and have a nice rest of your week, and uh, I'll see you guys this weekend on the bench.